Welcome. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. That was such a fun segment. Uh, live only slime segment is what we just had, but we are back. We are back to Sims. Okay. We're going to play some Sims 2. Load the legacy house. All right. While that's loading, my light just fell. I'm just, let me just, it's going to look weird, but I'm just going to fix it real quick. Okay, sorry for that weirdness. I'm back. Okay. All right, why'd you stop going, Sims? Come on. Don't be crazy. There we go. Okay. Everybody's asleep. Oh, yeah, it's 2 a.m. What's that? <gasps> He's got a pimple. Oh my gosh, the teenage sims get pimples. That's true, they do. And you can go to the mirror and give them pimple cream. Oh, my sound is way down for you guys. There we go. We were The slime was an ASMR stream, so y'all basically could not hear the sims at all for a second, but I fixed it. You can hear them now. All right, let's fast forward to 6 a.m. Yeah, these guys are old now, so... Okay, we need to do his birthday. So, you should... Go do all that. You're good. So, we're just gonna go get a cake. Everybody, all the teenagers will be up in a second. They'll be up in a second. Not too long. Ooh, we need to fix that elevator. It's doing the thing. It's doing the bug where, like... It's, uh, messed up. Oh, where can I place it? Okay. Hopefully that doesn't wreck anything. So I wanted the, I didn't want to redo the color, so I wanted to drop her it. There we go. Come on. Nope, other way. There we go. Okay. Did that break anything? doesn't look like it okay we're we're all good <laughs> we're all good sometimes you repair the elevator and the repair sounds don't go away it still sounds broken but it's not all right the kids should stay asleep till um until six so elders you can do whatever you like Wait, what happened? Why is that door? Oh, no, that's how it's supposed to be. The door looked weird for me for a second. No, but that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, this is what y'all choose to do. Of course, this is what y'all choose to do. <laughs> Nobody is surprised. Not by these two. Not by these two. All right, when you wake up, you need to use bathroom. You, you're good. You need to take a shower. You are good, you're just hungry. All right. Blow out candles. All right, they should have time to blow out candles before she has to run to work. I hope. They decide to do this, you know. <gasps> you know. Oh no, don't eat that. Wait, what are you doing? Oh no, gross. Do not eat that. Uh, clean it up. God, what's wrong with you? All right, everybody else? Yeah, they'll all come down, because they're all, okay. I'm tired of seeing these things dead in here. It's too hard to keep tending to them. I'm gonna move this thing and put in, yeah, you can go there. And put in another counter. Ah. 
Are they coming down? She's gonna end up late to work. Because of you guys. Not that it matters. She could retire, actually. And it'll be fine. How long does he have for adult? He has three days. Okay, three days. Remember, our goal is to get to Generation 7, so we gotta get him abducted. Okay, do your spinny. I hope his elder clothes are just as wacky. Oh no, they're normal. They're normal. Okay, that's fine. Yep, both of your parents are old now, guys. Okay, Aaron, you definitely need to become an elder. Yes, Jan Tellerman can finally become an elder. Yes, okay. She definitely needs to. Okay. All right, Robert, what you what you still need for your promotion? You need a friend still. Oh, no, you can have cake, it's fine. They all have to go to school, though. All these pancakes that we were not going to eat. Ugh. Now we're going to call somebody. Let's invite him over. Eminem, hello. Dad is in England to watch football. Did he bring his son? No. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He went to the football without you. That's a shame. But hey, you have Sims. You know, I haven't played Sims in forever. I know you missed it. But I thought for 500 followers, we should come back to it, you know? So it's like a big milestone. So we should do throwbacks. All right, there's Venkat. Let's go talk to him. Uh, let's hang out. Okay. That's all it took. So we've got enough friends now. We should get the promotion when we go tomorrow if we don't lose any friends today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, none of our relationships are close to ending. And we'll be good. We're going to get this one up. I'm going to get up a little bit. Yeah, a tick more. There we go. Okay, we're good. We can say goodbye. Bye, Ven Cat. We're done with you. Thank you, though. Okay. See you later. All right, Robert, you can do whatever you want today. Yeah, you want to play with the kitty cat? You go for it, friend. You go for it. Okay, everybody's coming home from school. We're going to grow our skills today. We're going to keep growing them. Let's see. Yeah, we need to get up to here. Two more points. I guess I should have just saved my points from childhood and just spent them when he became a teenager. But you know what? I did not plan that far ahead. It was not that strategic. Been talking about it for years. And he didn't bring you? That's so rude. He should have totally brought you. Oh no, why'd he re-roll that? Bruh. Let's see. Talk. Talk about hobby. 
Oh, I'm, I need to move that bed. I need to move that bed. Okay. Um, let's do this. And then this bed can go like this. Okay, and what color should this room be? We've got a green, a red, and a blue. I feel like this should be a yellow room. So, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. No, none of these work. Let's get the chest of drawers that's in every other room. And let's change it to this green. This can go away. Um, let's look at the floors. Me carpet pet. Too funky. Yeah, I think we just need to go yellow because we already got like a super funky bed. Yeah, it's like too much. Yeah, just yellow. Okay, and let's look at the walls. So now we have a yellow room. Okay. Why don't you get off the computer? Uh, talk. No, not here. Talk. Talk about science. I called him and asked him what he was doing. He replied that he was in England because he was going to watch Liverpool. Liverpool's my second favorite club. Well. Maybe he wanted a solo trip. That's all I could say to that. I have no idea. That's crazy he wouldn't tell you before he left. So you could potentially go too. But maybe he like knew that and wanted to go by himself. You know what I mean? And it was like strategic in that way. Uh, let's see. Let's re-roll. Nope, of course, the same stupid things. <laughs> okay, he was getting creativity on the piano. I just don't know why. That disappeared. Okay, she's gonna join. What is this? Cleaning? Okay. Study cleaning. Okay, so maybe if he's in the middle of playing, we can get a warrant. Maybe I have to... Maybe I should re-roll all of them. There we go. Okay. We are going to eventually get him to the top of the science. I just... I just really need him to get, his, get some points right now. And that's hard. Getting him to the top of the science thing is hard. Okay. So all the kids are good to go. And parents, you can do whatever you want. Hopefully he's going to get... Robert's going to get his promotion tomorrow. So yeah. 
Gosh, Marigold's going fast. Yeah, you can nap if you want to, dude. You can nap if you want to. Oh, your virtuoso mom is there. Two days left before Atlas's birthday. Okay, he's gonna be an adult very, very soon. I really need to give him those points so that he can get abducted. Um, when he becomes an adult. Why don't you come get the leftovers out? Okay, another point. Um, did that do enough? Okay. Eureka. Alright, Summon Aliens is next. We're getting there. We're getting there. But I think it is dinner time for everybody. Okay, I need them to all come get these leftover pancakes. It's dinner time, everybody. Where's Robert? Oh, he's answering the phone. No, we're having dinner, honey. They can't just wait in line. Sims can't just wait in line. They gotta stand the gate. All right, everybody got their pancakes. Go back to doing what you were doing. Who is that? Oh, a guest, okay. Okay, everybody's back at it. Back at their activities. These two doing their activity. <laughs> as they do, as they do. Oh, sweet. He got a Eureka moment. Okay. Yeah, still no, I figured. I didn't think it would be so easy. Okay. Let's get another skill point. Well, I guess I need to check on theirs. Yeah, you should be going home. Okay, they're not... Oh, she has one. Okay. 
No, she doesn't. Having the slower sleep decay would be better. Okay. Okay, it's midnight. That means everybody goes to bed. Alright, you gotta stop playing piano. It's bedtime. Mm. Not go here. You need to use that thing. Okay, make sure all of these are locked so we can do that. Okay, now that these two are not sharing a room and the side of the bed is not against the wall, we shouldn't have weird, like, sleep issues. Okay, yes. They go to bed normal now. Yeah, why are you still there? These people do not leave on their own. It's like they think it's rude to like... Oh wait, is your stomach hurt? Oh, her stomach's hurt. Sorry, he was already on the toilet. I don't know what you want to do. I hope she's not sick. Well, actually we don't have the illness ghost yet. If she's sick, that might be beneficial. Might be good to just keep her sick. See if we can get that ghost. Why you gotta be breaking the shower, my dude? Okay, he does go to work today. International Sim of Mystery. Okay, and we've got 11 friends, so we should be okay. So he ended up in the yellow room and he's the blue room. Okay, that must have just been where I put the beds. Meow, lady. Hi. What is it? You want to come up here? You kept them company earlier. Come here. I know I, I told you I couldn't pet you before because I was making slime. You would have got glue all over you. And that's gross. Okay, he needs to take shower. And then you can go play piano. Oh no, it's not properly tuned. Well, that's okay. He's got to go to school, so he probably won't have time for piano anyways. Um, oh, they want to do homework. Hello, lady. I can't see anything now. <laughs> How are you? Atlas, why don't you just do your homework? Um, let's macro. Hey, baby. I feel like when she headbutts me so gently, it's like her way of doing little pets. Like she's petting me. Isn't that right, lady? What's this? This is logic? Okay. Wait, did you do your homework? Uh, do homework. Oh, he's playing... Oh, pinball. Alright, school bus coming soon. Oh, she's up there bowling. And she should be taking a shower. Oh, 
Oh, I can't see the buttons through your cute little head. There. Oh, nope, go down. There, okay, I got it. Okay, the butler's here, so eventually things will get cleaned. Or repaired. <laughs> cleaned. No, he made more food. Alright, Charlotte. Hello, lady. This is Lady's stream now. She's the streamer. Um, she plays Sims. She plays Sims. Yeah, you don't have time to eat, my dude. I'm sorry. You have to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lady. Come on, that's the micro. She muted. She muted me. She said she don't want me talking to you. She only wants me to talk to her. Lady, you cannot be like that. It's not fair. Don't knock the I think I know why the little ticker got bent on this thing. Somebody's been playing with it. Look, go in this eye. There we go. Got it. You had an eye boogie. Don't worry, I cleaned it. Lady, lady. Did we clean up everything? No. Gotta clean up this. And gotta clean up this. Oh, there's still some from when they were kids, and nobody's a kid now, so they can't get it. <laughs> so I was just gonna sit there for years until there's another kid. Oh, my God. Two days for adult. So it should be 6 p.m. tomorrow, I guess. So he's going to be an adult very, very soon. He's going to have to go through the job cannon. Get shot out the job cannon into job land. Okay, y'all can do whatever you want today. We'll just probably flirt with each other and have sex. Or woohoo. Oh yeah, Robert gets to go to work today. He gets to go to work. So we can maybe get the promotion. Yeah, you can lay there. That's okay. No, that's not a toy. That's tweezers. There's no toys. The, you're, you have a toy on that desk. A little scratcher. But you don't have a toy right here. Oh, I thought I, I thought everyone did their homework. I guess Marigold didn't make it to hers. Here come the kids. I'm she's. Wait, why did she just get negative? What happened? I don't know what just happened. That was amazing. 
Ask for homework help. Oh, okay. Um, let's do ask. Let's do... Wait, I think I have to actually click on the homework. Is this his homework? Ask for homework help. From Charlotte. Oh, he wants to do his homework. Where is he? Oh, on the computer. Okay, let's do... Wait, where's the macro option? Am I not clicked on to him? No, I wasn't. I was clicked on to Emma. Where does he keep going? Oh, there he is. My gosh. Oh, he's doing his homework. Oh, she wants to maximize her logic skill. Okay. You should come do this. She does want to do her homework. Okay. Alright, get off the computer and do your homework then. Nope, not yet. We're getting so close. One more point. He wants to grow up well. He should. I think yeah, because I think after 6 p.m. I can age him up. So we can do that while he's platinum. Alright, come on, get another point. Atlas, you can do it. He's getting high up there, so it's like harder to get the points now. Robert, the finest international sim of mystery alive, is ordered to the frigid country of Calm Tum Tumbra to investigate their rumored galactic weapons research facility. By using disguises and his expert knowledge of the Cal Caltrumbran language, Robert is able to infiltrate the facility. It's here that he makes a startling discovery. The Caltrumbans are going to launch a team at any moment to man their orbital pulsatronic weapons platform on the moon. Robert can either steal their shuttle or use a computer virus to cripple the computers running to launch the sequence. Time is of the essence. Um, he's going to steal the shuttle. Okay, the obvious course of action for Robert to take is the shuttle theft. He always wanted to visit outer space. His infiltration of the shuttle launch platform proceeds smoothly, and Robert even convinces the guards he's the pilot. However, guard dogs are not so easily fooled. One of the larger males catches the scent of Robert's trademark international sim of mystery fragrance, and the chase is on. He's able to escape, but a moment is bittersweet as he turns to see the call Tumbrin shuttle lifting skyward. The ministry has little patience for failure. Oh my god! Why does he keep getting demoted over and over? It's like Robert is never allowed success. He's never he's never allowed success. He just wants to be a space pirate. He just wants to be a space pirate. He has everything. Everything set up for it. He just wants this so bad. At least he has a day he can go in tomorrow, so he'll get re-promoted again. 
Shigora. All right, Atlas, you about to get a point? Mm. Oh, Semenikalene. Yep, one day at 6 p.m. Okay, let's try to get him this point, and then maybe we'll have the cake tonight. He's going, he's like getting the last little bit so slowly. Let's buy the cake, though. Cake, 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 cake. Uh, no, no, party stuff is here. Pretty cake! There we go. Okay. Let's make our heir an adult. Did that give him enough? Nope. Okay, but he has the grow up well want. So, we've got that. Alright, come on everybody. What are they doing? ACR stuff, of course they are. Well, if y'all can stop before you get too far. Come watch your son blow out his candles and become a real man. Come on. Come on, everybody. Gather around. Okay, there's the people. Thanks, Sterling, because it's party time. You can stay if you want to party. All right, what's he going to look like? Okay. All right, he doesn't really look any different. They didn't give... It's, it's just he's still kind of like what he is. <laughs> okay, there we go. One plan. All right. Did that help him out? Oh, he wants to move out. Bro, you're not moving out. You're not moving out. Oh, there's Greg. The, he, Greg was here. That's too funny. Um, okay. Ah, oh, it still doesn't give him a point. Soon. He'll get one soon. You want, you're not moving out. This is a legacy. Oh, they're back at it. They had to, they had to go they had to go back. They had to go back. The <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he noogied you back. I saw I saw you noogie him earlier, so you deserve that noogie back. It can't be too many more wants that we have to fulfill to get another point. Like, it just can't be. Because we've done some big ones. We did the grow up well, that's a big one. Oh, the elders went to bed super early. Oh, they're going to wake up so early. No, you guys, you guys. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to wake up way too early. Oh, it's midnight now. It's time for people to go to bed. Alright, use the bathroom and go to bed. You also go to bed. Oh, you're really hungry. Okay, you should probably get some food. Ayolo. Eh. Ala, ayo. Yeah. Sheesh. 
You need some food, my dude. Oh, did he get the point? Oh, Oh, no, not yet. But tomorrow it's time to go get your job. In entertainment. So you should probably go to bed. You worry about that point tomorrow. Okay, now you can go back to sleep. <laughs> okay. Come on, get six in the morning. Ah, even when I even when I wake them back up, they still get up before six. Whatever. They're not beholden to any rules anyways. Oh, he's awake. Okay, you woke up early. You must not have just needed a lot of sleep. Okay. Um, Atlas, you need to walk to Lot. No, no one needs to go with you. We're going to the Career Services Center. Excuse me. Oh, Charlotte has the day off. Okay, I should re get rich. Charlotte should get retired. I should retire her. She don't need to work no more. All right, so find job in entertainment. And here we go. Shot out the job cannon into job land. And get his ideal job. Sure, God. Uh, level three. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. he must already have some good skills. Okay. Um, you can go home. Oh, not do yoga. Oops. Let's do a uh, walk to lot home. There we go. Now he should start rolling wants for skills based on what he needs for his job. That should make things easier to get whatever, as much as we need for those last points.
You know what I should be doing though? I should be collecting these fly plates somewhere. Cause we do, we need death by flies too. And that one's hard to get. Um, if I do, let's see. I do it like this. it can have a floor. Okay. Whatever. And then we'll go into build mode. Get this fly bowl. Put it over here. Get this fly. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't pick that up. Oh, I can pick this one up. going to fill this whole area with fly plates and it, they shouldn't be able like the maids and stuff shouldn't be able to get to them so hopefully they can't to do his homework uh, you don't have homework to do do you have homework to do no Y'all did your homework, so I know what your deal is. But you should quit ignoring your sister. Go talk to her. She wants to talk. Oh, they want to hang out. Okay. Are the girls hungry? You're hungry. You should get leftovers before it's too late. And it's time to go to school. Oh, and because they're hungry, the butler's gonna cook. It's pointless. Okay, when does he have to go to work? At 14. Oh, and he already has all the... Okay, he already has everything to get promoted. He's level 3 already. Mine. Okay. Is he good to go? Okay, he should get back. This guy's been bouncing back and forth, back and forth. 7, 8, 9, like over and over. Uh-oh, we got pink. Let me save. We might need to close and reopen the game. I saw pink. But I had it closed the whole slime thing, so... It should be okay? Back to live mode. Hopefully I don't see too much other pink. All right. Are you going to shower in the broken one? Okay. Oh, nope. He tea posing. It's pink and tea posing. Okay. We are going to quit. Do you want to save before quitting? Yes. We're going to save and we're going to close and reopen the game. All right. Game's back. We're loading back into the house.
Okay. Hopefully no more pink. Hopefully definitely no more tea posing. Oh, we got bills. We got bills. Charlotte, please pay the bills. We brought them in. Uh, yeah, pay all bills. Did they miss the school bus? They missed the school bus. Hang on. Take all the students to school. I can't believe they missed the bus. All the panic over the pink stuff and I just, yep, I let them miss it. Luckily, Atlas can take them to school because he's an adult now. Okay, he's back home. Um, and he needs to get on that piano. So you go use the bathroom. And you can practice. Oh wait, she needs to feed the bird. Oh, she wants a relative to get engaged and she wants to buy more shit. They have that stuff. You don't need to buy it. Oh, Sheldon's here. Sheldon's visiting. She's so happy. Oh, Sheldon says you're invited. You invited me to spend the night, but then you didn't let me get any sleep. I'm leaving. Sorry, Sheldon. Wasn't really the intention. Okay, Atlas has to go to work soon. He should immediately get promoted. Okay. All right, they're back from school. Oh, he's about to get the point. Oh, but it's time for him to go to work. Okay, well, we'll just lock it in and you can go to work. I don't want to be him to be late on this first day. He's going to probably get a promotion anyways, so, like, that's all good. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, she wants to gain a skill point. You can get, let's see, you can get a mechanical skill point. She wants to do her homework. Mm, oh, macro. There we go. Wow, his cooking is maxed out. He wants to just gain a random skill point. He should probably do mechanical as well. He comes home at 15, he comes home at 21, so he'll be home first. Hopefully that promotion will happen. Did you kiss me out, new lady? Yeah. Yeah, you did? You can come back up here. You were laying very good. Nice and pretty. There we go, he's a sim of mystery again. And he goes to work tomorrow, okay. Maybe he'll finally become a space pirate. She wants to go back to it. 
She's doing a shower. Oh, maximize the cleaning skill. Okay, we can do that. Which Final Fantasy is your favorite to play through? 10. 10 is my favorite Final Fantasy. I absolutely adore that game. Absolutely adore it. Oh, when that game came out, I was a teenager. And, like, if you've played that game, you'll know what this means. But, basically, like, I was in the process. At, I grew up in, like, middle of nowhere, like, deep south. And I was in the process at that time of becoming an apostate. So I'm playing Final Fantasy X, where basically every character is going through their own version of that process um, on some level. And I'm going through that in real life at the same time. So um, very, very powerful game. And there's like multiple spots like that is still makes me cry. Like it was one of the first um, like let's plays, like completionist let's plays I did on Twitch when I started. Because I love it so much. I've probably played it. I've probably played it through more times than most any other RPG ever. Like, I usually don't go back and replay games over and over, but that one I will. That one I'll go back and replay it. Love it. I love that game. Okay, do any of these guys have enough to... No? No there? Yes, there. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm the same way with RPGs. Certain ones I want to replay a lot of them. I just want to 100% to move on from. Yeah, exactly. What's your favorite Final Fantasy, Braille? Do you play Final Fantasies? I guess I should, I should find that out first. <laughs> if you play them, what's your favorite? If not, what kind of RPGs do you like? Okay, all these kids are too smart. They're like so good. It's like, it's kind of interesting having a house full of knowledge sims. We haven't played this way ever. Like this is a new, new thing for the legacy. I've only played one through six, but I love both four and six. Lately, I think I've like six more, but most of my life four was my favorite. Six is a really good one. Um, six and seven from the Final Fantasies are both really up there for me. In it with along with 10 as being like some of my favorite ones now some of the, the ones earlier than six I really have not played so that's something that I want to do eventually on my channel here um, is play them with you guys because the, the pre six ones like I just I was I was too young and and when they finally came out in the US it just it just wasn't appealing in that way you know they were pixel games which I didn't mind it was just kind of like the style was not really what I was looking for. Because the, the ones before six, like, like, they just aren't as sophisticated, you know what I mean? They're just older, and it just wasn't my jam. But I would love to go back and play them now so I can see kind of like where Final Fantasy came from compared to where it is today. Because I'm sure there's still something special about those games. It's just as a kid, I couldn't, I couldn't grasp it, you know? Some other RPGs that I play most of Spider Web Software has made. I really like Arcanum, which came out around the same time as Final Fantasy X. Oh, I remember that game. I remember that game. Last year I played Octopath Traveler 2, which I thought was pretty good. Yeah, the Octopath Traveler series is good. Yeah, I knew he was going to get an instant promotion. Lounge Singer. Okay. That voice of yours, while not perfect all the time, can certainly hold a room's attention. You've got the confidence to belt it out every night, and confidence will get you far in this business. Okay. So what's his work schedule now? So now it is 17 to 23. Okay, but he's still got all the skills he needs. All right, time to get off the piano. He needs to get a point. Why were you doing it for tips in your own house? It's kind of weird. Oh, no, you're not that hungry. Um, 
Why aren't you letting him practice? There we go. Um, one one old RPG that I do really like though is uh, is Chrono Trigger. That was probably the first like of that type of game that I played and got really into as a kid. Chrono Trigger was a really good game. And I remember when when the uh, re-release of it came out on PlayStation many years later, I went through and played it and um, like got all the endings and stuff. Because <laughs> it's got um, like a new game plus where you can get multiple different endings. I play quite a bit of Souls Likes too, which could be an RPG depending on your... I think they are RPGs. Um, I've not played a lot of Souls Likes because I'm bad at video games. <laughs> And I just, I just am not very good. I'm just not very good at them. The way that I play games is more about like patience, knowledge, persistence. And I just, it just takes me, I, it's something like a Souls like, you know, that would take me a really long time to get good enough to beat it. So like, dang, he still doesn't have the point. So like, um, I've never, I've never really gotten super into them. I love Corner Trigger, it's good. Secret of Mana, yes. Um... If it was on NES or SNES as an RPG, I'd probably played it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There's just a certain age, you know, where RPGs are, like, really good to play. Because most of them are not that difficult, but they're very time-consuming. And when you're, like, middle school, high school age, you have lots of extra time. So, you know. That's, um... That's like the prime RPG time. In my opinion. I was also playing a lot of EverQuest around that time. Until World of Warcraft came out and then I switched over and played a lot of that. Super Mario RPG was pretty high up there for me as an all-time best. Yes, that's a great one. I didn't play the remake though. I didn't play the, um, the Super Mario RPG remake. I would like to play it at some point. Yeah, EverQuest, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's that age, right? That's what everyone was playing, so I kind of figured, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so dang, okay, but wait, oh, this is an easy one. Okay, let's do talk, talk about hobby, and then we'll go stargaze. Maybe we'll get abducted as an adult. Just it just happenstance. My old uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> She's too busy. She's too busy flirting. I played EQ for a very, very long time, Dark Elf Shadow Knight. I played a um half elf bard most of the time that I was playing EverQuest. And I was playing on the um Firiona Vi server. That's how obsessed like I even remember the server. <laughs> <laughs> oh man rating in that game was nuts all in text how do we do that I don't even know I guess it was just the mechanics must have just been easier okay okay I still know okay um let's go down here okay I'm gonna interrupt your reading brother and we're gonna talk um, we're going to talk about science. Remember my server to Terumar to start and then later on Vishan? When my guild disbanded, I needed a new raid guild. Ah, oh, oh, man. I remember the Vishan server. I remember that being a server. Man, good times, good times. You haven't played that game in forever. I thought maybe I could pick it back up, and at one point I went and got on that um, Project 1999, but it just wasn't the same anymore. <laughs> it just wasn't the same anymore, you know. Oh, he wants to clean. Want to clean the cage? Okay. Uh, clean Ymir's cage. Oh wait, it's 1 a.m. It's time for bed. Go to bed, people. My god.
I have too many sims. I wish there was an everyone go to, to go to sleep button instead of having to click every single one. Okay, let's go sleep in pajamas. I thought about picking it up too. Some of my friends play on and off. The other day, my friend showed me their character with nearly. That would be 150? No, 1500. No, 15,000 AA, and I just got thinking there's no way I can do this. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's basically, that was basically my takeaway. Like, I got to, like, level, I don't know, 20 or something, and I was just, like, I was remembering, like, how slow and time-consuming the game is, and I was just like, oh, oh, I can't do this, <laughs> you know? And so I, I stopped. <laughs> because <laughs> it is a very slow game it is a very slow game and of course they're recreating it as faithfully as they can to how it was and guess what it's slow <laughs> it's slow so you know i just don't have time for that anymore i don't have time to sink the amount of hours into that that, that i that would take so yeah Okay, what have we got? Max out creativity or just gain a skill point. Okay, can he do that? He can do that real quick. Um, what does he need? Cooking mechanical cleaning. Okay, why don't you just come in and get a cleaning skill point real quick? We'll lock this one. Yeah, I knew he must already be somewhat have some cleaning. Okay. Mm. No, still no. Okay. And the butler is about to again make breakfast pointlessly. You do need to do something about those needs, though. Oh my god, she's so hungry. Don't make a drink. Just um, get some leftovers. You don't have time to eat them, though. Oh, you're just gonna have to eat at school, I guess. You're just gonna. You don't have time. Yeah, I would love to play again, but there's no way to play like that. Like I could while growing up, exactly. Like I could waste so much time at that at that age. You know, like I would even do stupid stuff, like sit on the boat going back and forth across the ocean of tears and spamming to learn the languages. What did that do for my character? Nothing. It did nothing. I just thought it was funny, and I would meet really funny, interesting people built making groups to do that. I, I, you know, like, I mean, complete time waster, but... Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, whatever. I guess you can have a few bites of pancake. Oh, he got two points of cleaning. Okay, um... Ah, uh, still no, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I see what's happening. Let's do... Let's do the creativity practice. Oh, it's Saturday! They do have time to eat before school because there is no school, the heck. Yeah, come eat. Come eat, everybody. I sat and leveled and level up beg because I want all my skills max. That took so long. I can't believe you leveled up beg. <laughs> I would do the thing where you would um, keybind to your your um, A and D sense heading so that I could have the sense heading skill. Why? Why? You don't need it. You just look up. The clouds always go east. Why do I remember that stupid tidbit about that game? It was so, it was so silly. I was so silly. But man, I was so dedicated. I had my lamb bent, you know? Because I played a bard. I had my lamb bent. I was blue. I'm a singing steel. I mean, I had everything. Did I have a bl flowing black silk sash? No. But I wanted one. But I played that game pretty much from release. Basically, like, literally until 2004, when WoW came out. I briefly stopped playing EverQuest to play Final Fantasy XI, but that didn't last long. Mm. 
Hello, Hello lady. Could you? Some pets? You can come up here. <sighs> Baby. You're like really far away. April 11, 1999 is the day I made what ended up being my main character. I still can't believe I still remember it. Played it for about 10 years. Yeah. Man, that game was amazing. That game was amazing. Lady, I'm I can't pet you can come right here where my hand is. Like, I'm not I'm not Stretch Armstrong. I'm sorry. And then she walks under my hand but she dodges. Okay, what are we doing? Does he have to go to work? Yes, he does. Does he have to go to work? Probably. Oh, he's playing piano. That's what's happening. He's trying. To, I'm trying to max out that last creativity. Oh, that might not be the best way to do it, though. Yeah, I think I just should continue with the learning the cleaning. Okay, take a shower, eat some pancakes, and then we'll learn cleaning. Meow. Meow, lady. Come here. Come here, baby. Yeah. I wish you would like be in a place that I can actually pet you. I know that's what you want. Study for mechanical. Actually, I'm just gonna let I'm gonna let the spares have the day off today. Really, just focus on Atlas. There you are, lady. Oh, now you want to block the screen. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> and step on the mouse. That's good. We like it. This is good, but good behavior. My cat loves to do the same thing. Yeah, this cat is a pacer. She does not rest. She does not sit still. It's really hard to get her to cuddle. She like she wants to pace back and forth in front of you or across your lap to get pets. It's just like it's like her mode of being. You're too cute. You are. You are too cute, lady. Too cute! And you are shedding like crazy. Mine likes to stand in front of monitors or on keyboards, but his other main way of getting attention is to headbutt me. Yeah. So, lady actually doesn't purr very loudly, but she does lots of headbutts. Okay, what's happening here? We're learning the cleaning? Yes, we're learning the cleaning. Why is she... What are you dancing to? Oh, you turned on the music. Okay. Hey, baby. Yeah, I'm talking to the microphone. Don't mute me. I can talk to them too if I want. I was very shocked by my cat's purr. It's about as loud as a motorcycle. Oh my god. Um, we have So we have four cats. Lady's just one of them. One of our cats, the queen, has a very loud purr. Um, and then Oreo, who's this one's brother, also has a very loud, deep purr. Um, it is insane. But this one, very barely purrs. The other one, Ash, pretty normal purr. Some cats are just, like, loud up about it. Okay, he's going to work. Oh, he must have got some points. Okay. Mm. Nope, still not yet. Okay. What is he learning? Cleaning still? Well, he's starting to get to the second half, so be faster. If he got the creativity. Oh, wait, no, 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 because that's maxing it out. Oh, but that'll get him two things. Let's go practice his creativity again. Let's see if we can get it today. Maybe he'll have a eureka moment for the last point. 
कल छोटी करने हो शम बाला uh, is Robert available to talk? No, Robert's at work. Okay. So... Oh, someone needs to feed the cat. Come, come fill this bowl. Mine's old, he's almost 12. Oh my gosh, really? I adopted him 10 and a half, and so he's basically set in his ways for attention, habits, and vocals. Oh, that's so nice of you to adopt an elderly cat, though. Our oldest cat's about is about eight. We celebrate their birthdays in April because we know with the two kittens, we know when they were born, um, early April. So the first weekend in April is all the cats' birthdays, and Queen, our oldest, will be nine this year. Um, the kittens will be three, and Ash will be six. I think that's right. I think that's right. No, Ash will be five. I think it's nine, five, and three. Yeah, because I think they're always all odd or all even numbers. I have it written down somewhere. I'd have to go look. But yeah, Queen, Queen um, I we adopted her. We we actually adopted her. We adopted Ash. That's the second cat that's my roommates. And then the two kittens were oops babies. <laughs> so uh, we were uh, feeding and playing with the neighborhood cats. <laughs> There was a feral cat colony at the place we used to live. We were feeding and playing with them. We were doing it. And so then uh, two of our favorites, we came in our house one day. Like we opened the door, they came in. And we're like, this is great. We'll get them fixed. Fabulous. They will, they'll stop making so many babies. Because basically there was a, one male cat that was like the daddy, granddaddy, uncle to all the cats. And it's like, it's not a good situation. So we were like, oh, these are two of the girls. We'll get them fixed. Um, well, then we all got COVID. <gasps> Everybody in the house got COVID, so we didn't get them fixed. And what ended up happening is we found out why they ran in the house, and it's because both of them were pregnant. So we ended up fostering, like, eight kittens, and, uh, and we kept two of them. So there, there are oops babies. We got all the other kittens adopted out, and then the two mama cats we couldn't find a home for, so they went to the SPCA and got spayed. Um, so yeah. So that's our cute cats. We love them very much. Okay. When does he come home from work? Comes home at 22. 23, okay. I'm excited, I hope, I'm hoping. No, they're missing a family friend again, wait. Oh, I have to make a friend. I have to make a friend before. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You can do this, girl. Elizabeth Hurt, invite over. Let's make a friend. We gotta make a friend before it's time for him to be done with work. I'm gonna mess it up again. We've tried so hard to get him to the top of this career. And we had him all set, but we, we lost a family friend. Oh, there she is, okay. Reader. Go on, say hello. And then talk, hang out. Dang it. Talk, hang out. Don't eat a sandwich. Hang out with her. Their sandwiches went bad anyways. Okay, there we go. It's happening now. Come on, get a friendship. Get a friendship. Before he comes home. Come 
Come on, we're so close. One more tick. It's not gonna happen. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Come on. Uh, I had it all set up. There we go. Okay, now he might get promoted. I don't really know what happened to him before I adopted him, but he's really, he was surrendered for being really sick and needing a lot of vet care. He's doing much better now. That's a sad reason to surrender. I hate, I mean, because you know when people do that, it's not because they wanted to. It's because vet costs are so huge. Um, so that's really sad. Atlas is in the middle of a famous melody when he realizes he's forgotten the words to the second verse. Should he repeat the first verse or try to make up his own words? He should improvise, of course. Atlas attempts to improve the second verse, but stumbles when he can't think of a word that rhymes with orange. The audience becomes uninterested. Atlas loses creativity skill points. Oh no! Poor Atlas. Poor Atlas. Whatever he tried. He should get promoted anyways. Okay, we're back on track with the friends. He should get level 10 when he comes home very soon. The vet costs were due to neglect. Oh, I think it's something that happened with his former owner just couldn't care for him anymore. That's really sad. That's really sad. Well, but he's with you now, so that's good. I know it's hard for the um, older animals to find homes because, you know, they don't have as much time with you. So people, of course, they want to adopt the younger cats and they want to adopt the kittens. They want to adopt the puppies, the younger dogs, you know. They don't really want to adopt the animal that's 10 years old. So but that's really special, I think, when you can do that. I never have, but like I've also never like surrendered an animal. We've always had them all the way until they were old, you know, <laughs> and then passed. So I've I've been very blessed to never have to make that type of decision. Oh, what are you doing? Just sitting? Okay, there she goes. She's eating now. I was like, why isn't she eating? Eat that lobster, girl. Yeah, the Humane Society was actually pleasantly surprised that I wanted to adopt him. Yeah. But it sounds like he's a very sweet cat. If he has a if he has like a loud purr like that, I bet he's like so sweet and cuddly. Okay, he's about to come home. Everything's still all good with the stats. Fingers crossed, you guys. He likes to lay near me, but isn't too much of a lap cat. He's very nice, though. Yeah, some cats are like that. Some cats want to lay on you. Some cats want to lay near you. Some of them just want to be in the same room with you. Like, I don't think... I don't think it's universal, you know? But I love kitty cats. People say, like, they're not um, very personable, and I've just never found that to be the case. Like, cats... They're, they are very personable and cuddly. I mean, not to everyone, like we have four of them, so obviously some like me more than others, same with everyone else in the house. You know, some like my husband more than others, some like their roommate more than others, but like, they, they're they all personable. Like, they're just like dogs, you know? Yes, I knew it, space pirate! Ha, okay, he's permaplat now, nice. Okay, you've done everything. You've done everything in your life, friend. You don't have to do anything else. Um, okay. Heck yeah. And he'll be home soon. He wants to stay home from work? That's funny. Okay. Alright, promotion? Yes, I knew it. Ventriloquist. Okay. You knew that old wooden dummy would come in handy one day. With him sitting on your knee and you speaking for two, some people might call you crazy. But you know the truth. Ventriloquism is a lost art and is ripe for a comeback. All right. Is five enough to get his, um, to get the, yes, it is. Okay. Starstruck. Personal fame star. 
Let others bask in your glow with this bona fide personal fame star. It's not only a great conversation starter, but a way to let the world know they love me. They really love me. Okay, so where should we put this? I think we should just put it like right in the middle, like right, like when you come out the elevator, there she is. Yes. I think people just don't recognize cats' body language. They're very affectionate. They want to hang around their family. They just show it different. Yeah, I think so too. Dogs are very obvious and excitable. And I think cats, if you don't know them, like you, and I think people also make assumptions. People that have never had cats just straight up make assumptions because if you see a random cat on the street, you're probably not going to be able to pet it. Like if you see a random dog, you probably can more likely than not. And cats are the opposite. More likely you won't be able to pet it. And I think pe that just causes people to misinterpret, you know? All right. Oh, he needs a charisma point. What's this? Creativity. We're going to unmark that. Yeah, we still don't have... We need one more point. Okay. Uh, let's stargaze, though. He's trying to become, maybe his story, so I, get, I think his story is he's trying to become famous so he can re-attract um, his alien boyfriend who he met when he was abducted as, as a young teenager made a very strong impression on him. Okay, this alien man made a very strong impression on him and he just wants to see his alien boyfriend again. Um, you know, it's just, it's just uh, very painful for him. This is a very formative memory for him. And um, he just spends a lot of time thinking about that now and, uh, and wishes he could you know, be back there with that, with that man. I mean, it was, it was only one night, but it was a very impactful night. It looks like tonight's not your night, my friend. Let's go to bed. Don't worry, soon you'll be able to summon him. Soon, very soon. We believe. We believe. Are the old people going to sleep through the whole night? They're going pretty far. I found a mod that lets elders sleep till 6 a.m. Like every other life stage, but um, it didn't it didn't work. Oh, they did sleep till 6 a.m. today. Wow. I just I was not expecting that. Why can't I pick these up? I should be able to, right? Huh. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. rolling wants for doing their homework when they've there there's no homework oh it, actually it glows it glows for real does it do anything it's his star yeah it doesn't seem to do anything just glow just glow and look beautiful okay my god clean up then clean up if the environment's so bad I don't see what the big deal is. You can clean up just as well as you can whine. Uh -huh. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, a cleaning skill point. Okay. So let's do study cleaning. So I bet, yeah, we still don't have it. Yeah, they don't have homework to do. I don't know why they're rolling that wand. Okay. Oh, he did a Eureka moment. Okay, perfect. Oh, still no. Okay, what have we got next? More cleaning. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, gosh. I just want to summon aliens. Is it so much to ask? I just want Atlas to see his alien boyfriend again. He has needs, okay. And he needs to see this man. This green, black-eyed man. Okay. Cleaning level 9. Let's lock in that couples counseling or that relationship because we can do that. Is Marigold... Yeah, Marigold can go talk. Oh, his needs are tanking. I'm going to have to take care of those. Let's get one more point and see if that does it, and then we'll go take care of his needs. Oh, no, we won't, because he has to go to work. We'll get this point, and then we'll send him to work. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Uh, okay. Come on. Okay. Was that enough? Nope. All right. Go to work. I know your hygiene's low, but you can go to the bathroom and eat at work. I'm sure they'll give you a lunch break. I think I'm gonna have her retire. I just don't see- why would she want to go to work anymore? So let's call work. And retire. Betrays, yes! Woohoo! 500! Hell yeah. Thank you for stopping by. How have you been? Yeah, we're gonna retire. Yes. Okay, she's got a daily pension now. I know that she didn't roll a retirement wand. I just, it just seems silly. A little bit ill, but good. You fully deserve the 500 good milestone. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. It's been so hard since the pandemic ended um, to, to grow on here, truly. And it's mostly because, like, this is just a hobby for me. Like, it's not a full-time thing, so I don't really put energy into marketing or, or growing on other platforms or things like that. But, like, during the pandemic, man, it was so easy. I mean, I'm sure you were here, you remember. So I was like, the, the, the 400 to 500 uh, has taken a long time, <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, it's about to be dinner time, you guys. You have a mod to make your GUI look like that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you actually... Hang on. Sims 2, I think? Yeah, there's my document that explains all of my mods and stuff. Twitch growth has definitely changed. Feels like a huge gap between people who got established during the pandemic and those trying now. Absolutely. Oh, my God. If you tried to start after the pandemic, like, it's so much harder to get those first couple hundred. During the pandemic, it wasn't. Okay, but anyways, I do have to cut this conversation short because it's time for me to eat dinner. So I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to go eat. 
And I will be back after dinner um, to finish this, okay? All right, you guys, and pause the recording. All right, I'm back from lunch. I'm back from lunch. We got a raid from Lunar. Oh my gosh, and we're back into Sims. I got Unicorn Overlord today and I'm loving it. My husband's been playing that. It looks pretty fun. I am sad that the unicorns are not a real unicorn though, and it's just a house crest. I mean, I only knew the name of the game. He just said, I downloaded a game called Un Unicorn Overlord. I didn't know it was like a strategy thingy game. I thought there was going to be a literal unicorn somewhere. There is not. It's a house crest. It's a strategy game. But it does look fun for what it's worth. It does look fun to me. Um, how far are you in it, Tap? Bamboozled. I felt bamboozled. Okay. No, he did make it a space pirate. All right. Well, he's at work. My wife downloaded the demo for the name as well. See, it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. I knew it wasn't just me. Tell your wife I said thank you for the commiseration because now I feel like it wasn't just me being crazy. I just thought like Unicorn Overlord, that game sounds amazing. It was, I don't, it wasn't. There was, I mean, it was, it sound good. I'm sure it's a good game. It's, it looks good, but it's not what I thought it was. Oh, we need to feed the, feed the bird. I've not gotten past um, what was in the demo. Oh. <laughs> no, so you're still at the very beginning. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. We're really just waiting for Atlas to get home from work. Ah. Luna, what should I do to a pop? Oh, okay. Oh, this is Wolf, is Wolf Quest. Kind of. Like a five, six hour demo. You know what? That's how it used to be. Video games used to all release with these like couple of hour long demos and that's how they sold games. And nobody makes real demos anymore. So I'm proud of them. They made a five hour demo. Good. More games should do that more. We used to. Atlas and his dummy are performing a bit about llamas and alpacas when the dummy's head falls right off. Oh god. Should Atlas pick up the dummy pick up the head, reattach it, and go on with the with the bit, or should he ditch the dummy and turn to a solo act? Ditch the dummy. Um Atlas tosses the dummy's body to the side, saying, That's using your head. The audience groans at the horrible pun. Not all that shit's funny. Several people walk out in disgust. Atlas loses a charisma point. Atlas, no. Oh my gosh. Atlas. I'm convinced Liza P was successful almost entirely based on their demo strategy. I agree. I agree because otherwise people would not have like necessarily given it a chance because they see the demo and they're like, oh, it's a different kind of souls like. I love souls likes. This looks interesting. Otherwise, I think that game would have just like flown under the radar as just like a random souls like. And only hardcore souls like fans would have bought it. But because there was a demo, other people saw it early and got invested and bought it. There's, there's something to be said for demos. They worked. They worked in the 90s and the 2000s. They could work again. Well, the 80s too. I guess the 80s had a lot of demos as well. It was a big strategy. All the way up until the internet got big enough that they didn't need to do that anymore. Oh, how long? Oh, we got three days for him. They just want me to send them to college. We're not sending the kids to college this round, okay? We're not doing it. When he comes home, I think I'm going to have him retire too. There's just no point. Like, why? There's no point. They made the demo look and feel like a modern Bloodborne. Then that demo was playable as soon as it was announced. It was such a good way to announce the game. Exactly. Exactly. More games should do that. <clears throat> Remember, that's the way the original Doom sold and got popular. Was There was a, a demo. That they that they sent out and you could get, and the entire shooter genre probably would not be the same if it weren't for Doom. So that's a great you know historic example of demos selling games. I would not have bought it without the demo. 
Demo cell games 100%, especially when your save carries over. Exactly. Final Fantasy 16 did it not too long ago, but it's hard to say how much it helped them yet. I don't know. I mean, just the being a mainline Final Fantasy game sells copies. I really don't know um, if the demo made any impact or not, to be honest. Because I think that game would have sold well, no matter what. You know, if you look historically at the sales for mainline Final Fantasy games post-7, like, it really just has to do with the platform that they're released on and where that platform is in its life. That's really what it has to do with the sales numbers. Like, that's what I think anyways. <laughs> you know? Um, uh, just everyone loves Final Fantasy, so those mainline ones sell great. Oh, he doesn't come home until tw oh, 20. That's soon. When do you come home? 21. Okay. Oh, it's poor hygiene. Oh, wait. He needs two more charisma points. So he's not going to come home with a promotion. Yeah, I agree. I think it would do well no matter what, so it's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I'll probably pick it up when it comes out on PC. I haven't played it yet, but I probably will. Just because I like the franchise, you know, even though I'm not sure that this one is like one that would speak to me particularly, but um, because I love the franchise, I would give it a try. I mean, I've given all of them a try, even if I haven't beat them. Well, all of them since six, really. We talked about that before, like the earlier games I hadn't really played. Okay. Um, this was your last day at work, dude. I don't think you need to go anymore. You're an old now. You can just stay home and chill. Uh, retire. I've watched enough playthroughs of it on Twitch, so I'll skip it, but I might get 7 Remake once it's on PC. I'm waiting for when it comes to 7, when it comes to the 7 Remake, I'm waiting for them to release all of it. Like, I don't... I don't, I don't know why it makes me so uncomfortable breaking 7 up into three parts, but it really does. I mean, I've still watched playthroughs, so, like, I'm, I'm fully spoiled, you know, but, um... But it just, the idea of, like, breaking it up makes me really uncomfortable. I don't know. There's just so many twists and turns in Seven's story, and you find out, um, you know, all the things going on with Cloud's psychology and, and, and Sephiroth and, um... And, and why Tifa is the way she, you know, it just, and breaking it up just, I don't know, it's so awkward. It doesn't feel right to me. I know, like, they're critically acclaimed or whatever, and everybody's love the games and yada yada, but I know the latest one has a little bit more mixed reviews, but still, like, it just, it just, it's uncomfortable to me. See how much playtime's in it? I get it, but it's a little off-putting. Right. Right. I get it, too. Like, I know each... Each of the two installments that's released are both, like, 60-hour games in their own right. Like, so I get it. But I feel like when you don't have the whole story, you don't have the whole story. And, uh, and the story doesn't make sense if you chop it up into three parts. I, I just, I feel the same way about it, basically, as I feel about whenever they have a series of movies and they make a part one and part two. Like, if they, with the book adaptations and the last book, they break into two movies. Like, stop it. Just, just stop it. I don't like it. it does, it's not good. I've ranted about it before on my podcast episodes, but it's not, it's not good. And I think that's why I'm so deeply uncomfortable with the idea of playing Seven in three distinct parts. Um, it gives me that same ick as, uh, when they break, a, a the last book into two movies for the, for the adaptation. All right. Working on charisma. Still, no. Dang it. Okay, maybe this next one. I don't know how the points are broken up. <laughs> I guess it would help if I actually knew that, then I would kn know, like, how much I need to get the next the next thing here. But I don't actually know. I just know you fulfill the wants, and eventually you get points on the lifetime aspiration benefits. Mm -hmm. 
Is it here? Is this this meter right here the amount of points? Am I just realizing that mechanic? Hang on. Let's see. No, because it doesn't... Yeah, that's not rising. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe only certain things, certain ones give you that. I'm okay with things being split up if it's planned that way from the beginning, but something like Seven didn't have a narrative written that way. Exactly. Like when it's a book series, the author planned it to be a series. But when you take something that's one and you make it into two or three, like you're you're breaking up the, the, the action. Like, because... Every story, whether it's a video game or a movie or whatever, it has like certain high and low points and it has a conclusion at the end that it's building to. And if you break it up to where there's an ending before the real conclusion, then you've not gotten the full intent. You've not gotten the full message. You've not gotten all the aesthetics that go into the story. So you're missing a part of that vision. And I don't like that. I don't like that for the story. I don't like that for the artist. You know, I just, I don't like it. And I also think <sighs> Seven also, because it was the most popular one for so long, it's been done to death. Like Vincent got his own game. And then we had, and we have Advent Children, right? And we have, um, there's a couple other spinoffs too that are not coming to mind. So it's like, we get a remake. Why are we not remaking things that have not been done to death, but are still popular, right? Why doesn't Six get a remake? I'm not the hugest fan of Eight, comparatively, but Eight has a gigantic fan base. Where's the Eight remake? I'm not saying there's not more that you could add to Seven's story. There absolutely is. There are parts of, of the original Seven that are incredibly underdone. Um, but it's just been, the ground's been tread so much. The ground has been so tread. So I don't know. I'm just uncomfortable. So when the third game comes out and I can get it all on PC, which will probably be like, it'll be way after the zeitgeist. You know, it won't be a big thing anymore, but that's when I will probably play it. Um, are we... Oh, we've got more than enough charisma now. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, but it's 2 a.m. Holy crap. I'm you're talking about video games and I'm not getting my sims in bed. Get in bed, people. God. It's 2 a.m. How did you let this happen? You don't need me to tell you to go to sleep, except you, you do actually. You do actually need me to tell you to go to sleep, and you can't do it on your own for the most part unless you're incredibly exhausted. Okay, get in bed. Jesus. Um, the one thing I find really cool about continu continuity in 7, though, is one of the few mm -hmm. Final Fantasy mm -hmm. universes that's been expanded on. It is one of the few. Like, 7 and 10 are, are like the only ones that have really been expanded upon. But yes, an FF7 seven style remake for 6 would be incredible, right? Because it's also... Um, uh, very deep in regards to its themes and its aesthetics and um, and what it's trying to say. So like a modern version of it that what that's not pixel, I think would be incredible. I need to replay six. It's another game. I need to replay seven. Like these games I played as a kid. So like, I don't like my memories of them are very spotty. Like I kind of have like, I have like a memory impression <laughs> and I remember certain specific things. But like overall, there it's there it's gappy. It's gappy, you know. Oh, what am I doing? They're all sleeping. Fast forward. Six has so much room for adding content that was mentioned or implied, but they couldn't fit it into the game because of technology limitations, right? So like that would be so cool. That would be so cool to get a six remake. I would love to see that. Okay. Monday morning. Time to get up, everybody. Okay, use him downstairs quick. Oh, 
Oh, and it's Monday, so they're gonna have to go to school. Yeah, six would be really cool. I would love to see that as like a remake. But they keep doing seven, because seven will sell, you know? So that's what they do. Because it will. It will sell. Is there more pancakes? Okay, yes. Um, oh, you need one. You need one way more. Is there enough for you to have one too? Aww. The cat wants some pancake crumbs. Why don't you get left over something else? There we go. Okay, so he's on the bus. She's on the bus. Okay, come on, eat a bit more. Alright, you gotta go. I know you didn't get to finish, but you gotta go. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? You know what we can do, actually? This is a fabulous spot to go ahead and stop the recording and um, and we'll do, a, we'll do a wheel spin before we start the next one. All right, so for y'all watching the uh, recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.